What's up everyone, Stoman here. Welcome to another episode of Stoman Angels NFT World. For those of you that don't know me, my handle name is Stoman Angels because all my NFT art, this channel, and basically everything I do is channeled by angels. First off, I really want to thank everyone for your amazing support on my last video. I really appreciate that. It's support and feedback like that that make making these videos a pleasure. So thank you. So today we're going to switch things up. Instead of the art coming to us, we're going to go out into nature in search of the next hottest NFTs. Now remember, this is not financial advice. This is just some amazing artwork we're showcasing from around the world. Now with that said, let's get started. All right, welcome everyone. Here we are in beautiful Calgary, Alberta, Canada in Fish Creek Provincial Park. Today we are in search of some amazing NFTs. If you would like to contact the artist or view more work from them, their links are in the description below. Oh, looks like the coyotes are out again. All right, let's get started. Who do we have first? All right, so first up we have Artiro.7 Emons. So the artist's name is Artiro. Cats are an antidepressant for him and have helped him in many ways throughout his life. They are known for being guardians of the underworld, but he believes that they are the protectors of our life source. Our spirit guides, you could say. I totally agree. I have a cat as well, and she is all that for me too. Keep up the amazing work, Artiro. All right, so next up we have Crypto Schmecker. Crypto Schmecker is a limited collection of 10,000 items, which all of them are one of one editions. They are all unique collectibles living on a Polygon blockchain. Your Crypto Schmecker grants you an entry to a CSMC club. Membership grants access to many benefits, like huge giveaways and many more. Currently, 100 of them are on pre sale. After all Crypto Schmeckers, on pre-sale are sold, they will release 500 Crypto Schmeckers every week. This is a great collection and selling like crazy. Definitely check these guys out. All right, so next up we have Crypto NFT Coin. So this is a collection of 60 NFT house and facilities. Any purchase from NFT Land Realtor will include three-time care package from NFT Land Superstore. NFT Land Realtor is elated to offer commercial real estate in NFT form. NFT Land Realtor only showcases the best of the best when it comes to NFT Land. All NFT houses are gorgeously stunning, complete with immaculate details. NFT Land Realtor proudly presents legendary locations like Bushwood Country Club or in Bruges. NFT Land Realtor also offers the blockchain HQ, the Silicon Valley Starter Kit. Without a doubt, their crown jewel is number 52, located in upstate New York, the abandoned Avengers facility. NFT Land Realtor is the foremost leader in NFT Land asset management on the OpenSea NFT marketplace. NFT Land Superstore three-time care package will include three selections from the owner, completely owner's discretion, one of one exclusive rare NFT from Crypto NFT Coin. This looks like an amazing project, and this is the first realty project to be showcased on this channel. Can't wait to see how this project takes off.
All right. So next up we have Cryptoon NFTs. So this artist has graphics knowledge for more than five years. He is from Jaipur and he hopes you like his work. I think it's hard not to like it. They're so colorful. Keep up the amazing job. I can't wait to see what you come up with next. Alright, next up, uh, CryptoX9551. This artist is a kid trying to build his future in the NFT space. Art and animation is his passion. I know this artist and this piece is super hot right now. He has sold many copies of this piece. This piece would look great in any space. CryptoX9551 definitely has a bright future ahead. I can't wait to see what he does next. Right. Diana Lazarin. Diana Lazarin was born on November 7, 1987 in Mendoza, Argentina. She is a university art professor, sculptress to the monument of the fan Loco Julio. She has sold sculptures of renowned soccer players, as well as paintings and digital art, and practices in national and international exhibitions. This piece is truly remarkable. Check her out to see many more remarkable pieces. Keep up the amazing job. All right, so next we have Dot Daddy Dot Art. This artist is a longtime veteran of commercial photography and graphic design. He's an admirer of simplicity, a lover of color, and fascinator of dots. And of course, he is also a daddy. Dots are the simplest and most fundamental element of art, but they can be more. That's why he's so fascinated with creating artworks with only dots. His inspirations are an homage to some of the iconic designs, art techniques, and timeless artworks. The bond and impression of things around him, including the places he's visited. They also inspired him to create his collections. I love his work. It's simple yet effective. Can't wait to see what you do in the future. All right, so next up we have Elusive Illusions. David. The artist's name is David. He's a 50 year old photographer who's been living in Japan and teaching English for the past 20 years. He's always looked for unique perspectives in his compositions. So one rainy night three years ago, he happened to notice how the streets seemed to come alive with all the neon everywhere. He went home, grabbed his macro lens, and began his journey exploring light reflections in the quantum realm. As all artists grow and explore new creative directions, he began to also experiment with Photoshop, applying symmetry to some of his images. His ongoing goal with his photography is to encourage and inspire others to stretch the limits of their creativity and see each facet of the world in a unique way. Amazing job, David. Love your work. I can't wait to see what you do next. All right, so next up we have Float Fox Brands NFT. So this is a luxury lip balm company for the thriving ape. Sporting a collection for Bored Ape Yacht Club members and their expensive tastes and collection for the desperate ape wives by their side. The female line has a color splash based on the colors within DAW so that wives' lips never lose their color and tasty flavor. Get one for your purse. The male line is all about manly moisture with tremendous flavor. They are based on the BAYC apes themselves and their celebrity owners. BAC Company, a Float Fox brand, which has a certified collection on KALAO under the AVAX blockchain. This collection is not affiliated with either BAYC or DAW. Plus, every unique NFT is one of one and of limited supply. They are created by hand and not generated. We'll release three every Sunday. So this, this collection, I love this collection. 
This one here is called Fallon Musk, which was specifically made for Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy, if you're watching this, make sure to pick one up. They're great, and this is an amazing project. All right, so next up we have House of Hawks. House of Hawks is a collection of 11,111 randomly generated NFTs hovering on the blockchain. Each hawk is different with different attributes and personality traits. Their goal is to build the biggest group of dreamers and explorers. Aside from having an awesome PFP, you can help us build the future of House of Hawks. We will also be giving 10% of all sales back to the community, which makes House of Hawks, a collector, so you definitely want to follow them. By getting an NFT, you will be granted into the House of Hawks Club and given a voice in later projects. Exclusive perks like merchandise and surprises for every milestone reached. So brace yourself, this is an amazing project that you definitely want to be part of. So next up we have Jean-Yves Lemoyne. I personally love this artist, especially his I Ching collection. All right, so the I Ching or Yi Jing or Yi King, usually translated as Book of Changes or Classic of Changes, is an ancient Chinese divination text and among the oldest of the Chinese classics. The basic unit of the I Ching is the hexagram, a figure composed of six stacked horizontal lines. Each line is either broken or unbroken. There are 64 possible hexagrams. Usually the lines of the hexagram are black. I represented them as colored pixels. I love this collection. I love I love the I Ching. Fantastic collection. Check them out for more. All right. So next up we have Matt Serious Art. For the artist, his NFT journey is not a risk that he takes, but rather a passion he follows. His motto is keep creating. His art, especially the abstract ones, are about what he is feeling. He is passionately curious, and if life taught him something, it's that it's important to stay curious, learning new things and developing new skills. He does different styles like watercolors, street art, minimalism, AI art, and abstract paintings. One of his favorite quotes is, die with memories, not dreams. This quote keeps pushing him to make the most of his art and life. I absolutely love Matt's work. I would have to say that he's easily on the top of my 10 favorite NFT artists. Make sure to check him out, I'm sure you'll agree as well. NFT World Architect. The Fatrito Project is a collection of tarot based cards. The card is represented by two arcana, which together make up a special meaning. The arcanas are drawn by a Ukrainian aspiring artist and presented their values to art lovers in a graphic black and white style. The collection is regularly supplemented with classic arcanas. Each card has its own unique combination of success, wealth, fortune, love, health, and energy properties, which allows the collector to purchase the card as a special talisman, choosing the priority values in his life. I think this is an amazing project, and I myself own a few of them already. Keep up the great work. All right, NFT's Artists MC. The artist's name is Myra from the Philippines. She is an aspiring artist and NFT creator. Drawing is her hobby since childhood. She started off doing pencil to paper as she didn't have enough resources to buy paint and drawing materials. Then fast forward to when she learned about crypto and NFTs. Now she saved up enough to buy an iPad and started doing NFTs. She creates her art as a way to express her feelings, as a living and as for people's requests. So she does do a lot of custom work. I love her work. Keep up the great, amazing job. So 
So next up we have Nifty Cat. The artist's name is Christine and she has always been artistic. She is from Calgary, Alberta, Canada and has painted, done photography with an SLR but hasn't been inspired in the last few years. She works in sales and recently got that spark back in her digital art and the creation of NFTs. She would also like to give a big shout out to Lo-Fi Dreams. She says that he is her mentor and the reason she got into 3D art. I love this piece, especially with the moving starry night. Keep up the amazing job. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. All right, so next up, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. <laughs> Sorry if I get it wrong. Uh, but we have Nosahai Osagi NFT. So this is a piece of art from the Trillionaire's NFT collection. We are not alone. Out of the billions of galaxies, meet Kepler, a planet you may never visit. I absolutely love this piece. Can't wait to see what he does in the future. So next up we have Nug FTs, Weed NFTs, Feb 5 Mint. Launching the top 5,000 cannabis strains in the digital format, each strain will have different characteristics that will represent the value of the NFT. The cannabis industry is only going to continue to grow. With more and more states legalizing cannabis, there's no end in sight. They would like to be the first cannabis company in the metaverse bring real-life hobbies, interests, and communities into Web3. This sounds like an exciting opportunity. If you have any questions, you can DM them on Twitter. I'm sure they would love to hear from you. All right, Punk Modern. Eric Clapton Is God was famously graffitied onto a wall in London in the 70s. It's arguable that that piece of graffiti art sprung him to heights never imagined. Ironically, Eric turned to God after battles with addiction and losing his son in a horrendous accident in which tears in heaven from his unplugged and other albums echoed. The infamous Blackie, Fender Stratocaster with the maple neck, used prolifically by Eric from Derek and the Dominoes, playing Layla on this as well as most of that time period. This guitar's bottom two function knobs essentially can turn the bottom pickup into a very humbucker sound. Eric rarely used pedals. That's what made the signature Blackie so loved and admired to this day. All right, so next up we have TV A Collage. So Tracy is a collage artist living and working in the East Village. She has shown all over New York and is in the permanent collection of the Leslie Lohman Museum. This looks like an amazing piece and I'd love to see more from Tracy. All right, so next up we have Vidu Raghavan. So Vidu is an NFT artist from India. He creates beyond dimensional fractal visionary art. He is inspired by the fundamentals and foundations of creation, for example, light and love. Without light and love, nothing would ever be possible. His vision is to create a virtual reality environment where people could surf through for beautiful, peaceful experiences integrated with the serene music and beautiful meta-dimensional geographical art. His greatest strength is his family and this universe. He works with many styles of art, including digital, fractal, meta-dimensional, visionary, surreal, abstract, vector, geometrical, algebra, mathematical, psychedelic, entheogenic, and 4K Ultra HD. This is a man of many talents. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Keep shining with your work. Well, that wraps up another video. If you liked the video, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you're an artist and would like to be featured in our next video, please DM me on Twitter. 
In the DM, don't forget to add your favorite piece of work, a short little bio, and a link of where we can find your, that piece of work. And I'd be more than happy to add you to the next video. Until then, keep on creating. Thank <laughs> you.